Attention. I've always been fascinated by the future. Can you step back a half step? But I also loved imagining past worlds and what the people were like. Okay, move forward slowly. Look in the second window just a little bit as you go by. When I was in high school, I was fascinated by ancient Egypt, by the Greeks, by the Romans, and Atlantis. And I think that underneath this myth, this parable, there has to be something historically that happened. And cut. So, yeah, good to see you. Just awesome. That's my day job. It's a good day job. So, are you doing this? We're doing it. Going after Atlantis? I've got the boat, I've got I've got the divers, the ROV, yeah. the team. Oh, man. I gotta be there on that ship. I've never not been on the ship. I know you do. I know you it's do. It's killing me. So, I know you... I don't well, want to set the break. pull you off and we need to strategize, yeah. so... Hey, Maria. Hello, Lynch. Right. Right. Look at some maps. Hey. Everything we know about this highly debated topic comes from the Greek philosopher Plato, who wrote some 2,400 years ago. In Plato's tale, the Atlanteans ruled an aggressive empire, stretching from the Atlantic all the way to the Eastern Mediterranean. Their capital, Atlantis, was a port, a unique city, made up of three concentric rings of land and water. At its center, there was a temple to the god of water, Poseidon, where the Atlanteans sacrificed bulls. There were also incredible bridges and canals connecting the various moats. And the central wide canal that cut across the city and linked the temple with the sea. And it all came to a terrible end in a single day and night when earthquakes and tsunamis destroyed the city submerging it beneath water and mud. But where is it? All right, so where are we going to go first? Uh, a picture of a journey. Here's Plato, right, Athens. And he's talking about a civilization that, in his words, spanned the whole region. So it's a seagoing civilization. And they come from somewhere over here, from right. the Western Mediterranean. Right. So they could be anywhere. So what's my mission? Investigate some new hypotheses. Investigate the ones that people tend to find appealing. Pick it apart. Let's be rigorous. I'm looking for the signs of a common civilization that dominated the Mediterranean all the way to the Atlantic. And maybe this quest will lead to the legendary mother city, Atlantis. Quite a journey. Well, you're gonna you're gonna spend a lot of time on boats. <laughs> you're the you're the boat. Well, yeah. you could, I get seasick. You could fly. But I think if you go on a boat, you'll think the way they thought back then, and the distances will mean something to you, and you'll understand what it's like to be part of a trading culture. First off, well, I, look, I'm very partial to the Minoans, as you know. The Minoans were definitely a seagoing civilization, one of the peak civilizations of its day. On Crete and on Thera, 1,100 years before Plato, you've got a city that disappeared overnight. Santorini. Yeah, Santorini. Absolutely. And and uh, why don't we get Charlie into this? You know, I mean, he wrote he wrote the book on Earthing Atlantis. Charlie. Charlie. Get Charlie. Yeah. So a few days later, and with the help of a few seasickness pills, I set sail along the eastern Mediterranean for the Greek island of Santorini. Thirty-five hundred years ago, this island looked much different than today. It had a round shape with an opening leading into the sea, very similar to Plato's description of Atlantis. At that time, Santorini was inhabited by the great Minoan civilization. But everything changed in 1550 BC when the volcano in the center of the island erupted with devastating force. So 
So is Plato describing Santorini when he writes of Atlantis? To answer this, I meet with author Charles Pellegrino. Nah, this probably happened post-eruption. Using drones, Pellegrino's conducting a survey of ash layers in the mouth of the volcano in which he's sailing. Can we come in closer to the original grand layer? Recreating the events that led to the volcano's collapse. 